Hey guys, today I have yet another body cream. I think this is the third one in a row now. This one is from Sol de Janeiro. It's the Bom Dia Bright Body Cream. This one is 59 Canadian or 45 US dollars. You get 240 mils or 8.1 ounces of product. So this one's a little bit more expensive than the last two that I reviewed. I'm a big fan of Sol de Janeiro as a whole, so I was super excited to see that they came out with a new product to their line. The Boom Boom Cream has been number one one since I've tried it, day one, fell in love with it. So I've had very high expectations for this one. This one is a retexturizing and nourishing body cream. It has fruit, AHAs, and vitamin C to make your skin smoother and brighter. Those claims for me are kind of hard to pinpoint. Um, the results are certainly not dramatic. Even with the Boom Boom Cream, it's supposed to be like a tightening cream. I've never noticed any type of tightening. Um, the Glow Recipe body lotion that I've tried recently also has AHAs to kind of smooth your skin and exfoliate, just kind of even your texture out. I haven't noticed that. I haven't noticed that with this one. Maybe the results are just minuscule. I, I mean, it's nothing substantial. The packaging is the same as all their other body creams. This one comes in a beautiful corally pink shade, probably my favorite one so far. The only thing with body creams, I just wish they made one with a pump. I would eat that right up. Generally with body creams, I'm not a fan of a tub. I like a pump or I like a squeeze bottle. It's just my least favorite of all the methods. On to the scent. The scent is my favorite part of this thing. It smells so good. Scents I know are very uh, personal. I might love it, which I do love it. You might absolutely hate it. I'm just gonna tell you that I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the original Boom Boom Cream. I'm a fan of the Coco Cabana one. I haven't tried the Acai one now that I think of it, but those two, those other two I really love. And this one, this one's my favorite so far. This one just smells more sophisticated to me. So the scent is described as like warm florals, which I'm not usually a fan of floral scents. I just don't usually go for them. They're not my favorite. But I love this one. I love it. I think it's because it's combined with warmer scents as well. The key notes with this one are black amber plum, vanilla woods, and jasmine bloom. And the combination of all those three together are just perfect. Like I cannot get enough of this scent. And I got like three whole compliments on it the other day at work, which which is a lot actually. <laughs> the best way I can describe the scent is a sophisticated summertime scent. Cause I, I like a lot of the summertime scents. They got like the coconut, vanilla, but it just doesn't smell very like, I don't know if the sophisticated is even the word, but it smells like you're going to the beach, I guess. I think it's the florals combined with the warm vanilla that just kind of makes it that way. Whatever it is, I love it and I wish they made everything in this scent. I want, I want shampoo and conditioner, I want perfume, like some kind of mist fragrance thing, all of it, I want it all. The scent does shift a tiny bit once I apply it. Um, when I smell it in the tub, I can totally smell the florals and the warm vanilla, but when I put it on my body, it kind of shifts towards more of the vanilla and less florals. They're still there, but it's more just a warm scent. And the scent lasts forever. Days, days. If I didn't shower, I would probably smell like it permanently. To the Glow Recipe body lotion that I've recently been trying, that one's got the watermelon scent, which is a really nice scent, but towards the end of the day, I really got to focus to try and pick out the scent from my skin. But with this one, I don't even have to try to smell it at the end of the day. Even at the end of the next day, I can still smell it. The other day, I had a quick shower, not like a full body scrubbing shower, but just a quickly hop in, give myself a rinse type shower. <laughs> I have different levels of showers. And after I showered, dried off with my towel, I could still smell it after I had applied it the day before. So the scent survived like a whole day of wear. It survived me sleeping and then a quick shower. So that's pretty good. I mean, it was definitely a little bit more muted. It wasn't overpowering, but it was still there. And that is very impressive. Cause not gonna lie, a lot of time I buy body creams because I wanna smell good. Now onto the actual lotion. So it's a really pretty light pink color. The texture is similar to the Boom Boom Cream if you wanna use that as like your base point. It's just a little bit lighter. Not very much, it's still really thick and really creamy, but just compared to that one, just a touch lighter. 
I don't know if you remember when they first came out with the Coco Cabana Cream, I think before they reformulated it, it was pretty light and more greasy. This is nowhere like that. It's definitely similar to the Boom Boom Cream, just a touch thinner, just a little, just a little hair thinner, but still on the whole spectrum of body creams, it's definitely on the thick side. It's nice, thick, creamy, it absorbs instantly into your skin. There's no stickiness or wetness. That's what I've loved about all their body creams. They just soak right in and instantly start to moisturize. The Boom Boom Cream has always been my favorite in terms of like repairing your skin and actually providing hydration. And this is just as good. And it smells better in my opinion. I'm gonna say it smells better. This is a bold statement, but this is probably my favorite body cream of all time. Yep, of all time. I've tried a lot of body creams and this one is just so good. This works amazing on my feet. I'm sorry if you hate feet, but I'm gonna talk about feet for a minute. This works great on my heels. I mean, I take care of my feet pretty regularly, so it's not like they're atrocious or anything, but this really gets into like my heel skin and just keeps them moisturized for so long. You can just tell. You can just tell when you're rubbing this into your body that it's just giving you so much hydration. Super hydrating, instantly hydrating, super comfortable, no stickiness. Even if it just had this scent and didn't zero moisturizing, I would love it. That's how much I love the scent. I guess that's just what a perfume does or something. But you know what I mean. I would buy this body cream just for the scent. It just so happens to be the best moisturizing body cream also at the same time. The only thing is the whole smoothing your skin. I mean, moisturizes your skin so it feels smoother, but I don't know that it like eliminates any bumps or exfoliates or I don't know, maybe a little bit, just nothing substantial. I don't even care because it moisturizes so good and it smells so good. And that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Let me know if you'll be trying this out. I would love to hear it and I'll see you later. Bye.